Heading down, heading down the stairs. All right, to the right, we have a little alcove here. You could put a bookshelf or something there. And then we have two more bedrooms. The ceilings are nice and high. They're probably the same height as upstairs, I would guess. Uh, I'm not sure if it's eight feet or nine, nine feet. That's ground level in the front of the house. Again, vinyl windows. This is coming out of the corner of the wall. That has got to be an access panel for, I don't know, what, plumbing maybe? Not sure. Yeah, I'm not going to try and open it. I'm not quite sure what that is. it with wire shelving pretty much a standard closet all right and then interestingly enough this room down here downstairs is set up as a master bedroom it has the bathroom is inside this bedroom so that's unusual for a split entry okay so down here we have another vinyl window something was behind there at one point not, not sure what but Looking out into the backyard. There's an interesting little gap. The carpet has a gap down here, but not a. Don't imagine that's a big deal. Um, this, they were, I think they must be wanting to paint this because they've pulled off the knob, so I'm not going to try and open that closet. Okay, so there is a bathroom down here. This is a vinyl tub, tub shower surround. Not sure what's the little looks like they've opened that wall at some point to do a plumbing repair. These cabinets are not newer. Um, there is a little bit of a room back here behind the door where you could, I guess, use it for the closet as well. Linen, something like that. Okay, coming back out through the bedroom. Here the stairs again. On the other side of the stairs, there's also another storage area. It looks like this opens up underneath the stairs for additional storage. It's unfinished under there. Okay, so now we have a family room area with a fireplace. And then in the corner here, that's the door to the garage. And then this is has vinyl set up like it's all a big utility area. So water heater access, some plumbing. This there are bifold doors, but they're not on here. And that's the laundry area. Bordering. 
The vinyl is in pretty pretty tough condition. It has a lot of stains on it. Can we take a look in the garage? So we have the garage and stairs going up into the garage. Okay, so here's the corner. Standard. It's a, it's bigger than a single garage. It's a, not really much deeper, but because it's it has the stairway there, it feels a little wider. Furnace is there, and that's the back of the fireplace. Okay, we're heading outside. This is that that area, the extra fencing, so it's an RV pad. and lots of patio area here. I'm not sure what this is. There's water in it. Could be irrigation. I'll have to check on that if you're interested. It's a big lot because it goes way back here. And that RV over there goes where this is. The owners are living in that. Looks like they have some raised bed gardens. out here. Okay, so here's the back door in the shop building. Need some repair work done here for sure on the side. This section of wood under the ceiling is coming down has a separate meter on it. Looks like this is a, another shed over here too. I'll try to see if it's open. Okay, so in here, this is a double car garage. Appears to be in really good condition. A lot of stuff in here. Can't really walk through it too much because there's so much stuff. But but all of the ceiling, I don't see any staining. No real obvious signs of leaks. That's all promising. Okay. So again, it's a to be a nice big full additional double garage back here with access from the alley. Okay, let's take a look over here. lock on the gate so I can't go out this way because it has a separate meter. Okay, I'll stop here.